So, I gave you guys the ability to decide what this video will be about, and apparently you want me to talk about Shrek. So, sit back and relax. Today, we're gonna talk about Shrek 1 and 2 and why they are great. Shrek is about an ogre who lives alone in his swamp. He's living his best life because he has the ability to live in peace, take mud baths, and scare off the townsfolks from his property every now and then. One day, a speaking donkey called... well, donkey runs into him, and although Shrek does, really doesn't like it at first, donkey tries to make friends with him. The thing is though, donkey's running away from Lord Farguard who banned all the fairy tale characters from his land and sent them to Shrek's swamp. Shrek doesn't like this either, so he decides to go and talk to Lord Farguard. After this epic scene of Shrek battling Lord Farguard's men, which is parroting such show wrestling shows like Smackdown, he makes a deal with Lord Farguard who sends him to save Princess Fiona from a dragon in an exchange for sending the fairy tale characters elsewhere from his swamp. We all know how this goes. Shrek saves the princess, the dragon falls in love with the donkey, Fiona has curse on her which turns her into an ogre every night, she sings so high that a bird explodes, Shrek gets an arrow in his ass. Shrek falls in love and tries to confess his feelings to Fiona, but hears what she says to Donkey and misunderstands what she meant. Lord Farquhar comes and takes Fiona away. Donkey explains Shrek what is going on. Shrek runs to Lord Farquhar's and Fiona's wedding, confesses his love, and For Lord Farquhar dies. That's the movie! Where do I even begin with this film? In one sense, it's a cinematic masterpiece because of how it has the balls to take a piss on Disney and classic fairy tales. Okay, maybe I'm a bit over-exaggerating this, but you cannot deny that it is a great film. The animation still looks amazing even though the film came out 19 years ago. The characters are complex enough that you as the audience member can relate to them and feel their emotions. The jokes and gags are still funny and hold up. The plot of the film is simple but effective in a way that it just sucks you into its world and doesn't let go until the film ends. It is basically a great parody with heart. I love this movie. And I believe I'm not the only one who watched this film while being very young. I feel very nostalgic when it comes to this film, because I grew up watching it, and although I didn't get all the gags back then, especially not the dirtier ones, I did get the story and loved every second of it. There has always been something special about this film. You just cannot point your finger at it, but it is something that made everyone fall in love with this film. In fact, the film is like an onion. No, not because it stinks or makes you cry or it turns into a brown hairy thing when you leave it facing towards the sun. It's the layers. The film has so many layers and is just so much more than you might think it is. It's not just another parody movie. It's not just another family film. I could even argue that there is no other movies like Shrek. It is its own thing and nothing really compares to it. The reason why movies that try to mimic Shrek fail is because they always forget what makes the film great. Personality. Shrek the movie, like the character Shrek from the Shrek the movie, has its own personality. All the way from the soundtrack to the actual story. Everything feels so thought out and, well, personalized. The film is just great. Shrek 2 starts off from where we were left off. The word has gone around that Fiona has been saved and married to someone, and the King Harold from the kingdom far far away, Fiona's father, has invited her and her husband to visit them. Shrek and Fiona get this message right after they come back from their honeymoon, and Shrek 
obviously doesn't like this idea at all. But anyway, they travel to Kingdom far, far away and nothing goes to plan. King Harold doesn't like Shrek, Re Shrek doesn't like him. And the worst part is Fiona's own fairy godmother comes to the mix, whose own son, Pr Prince Charming, was supposed to be the one to save Fiona, but was a bit too late. At first, nothing works out. The king even tries to kill Shrek by hiring a famous contract killer, Puss in the Boots, who actually becomes friends with Shrek. But in the end, the king learns to accept Fiona's love towards Shrek and gets rid of his own skeletons from the closet. A human skeleton, if you will. <laughs> Shrek 2 is basically everything that Shrek 1 was, but better in every single way. The story is more complex, full of pop culture references and actually interesting ideas like making friends with the guy who's hired to kill you. Actually, that could work as a standalone film. Be friending a killer, coming August 20th, 2021. Although Shrek 2 is basically Shrek 1 but bigger, it is also better because it still remembers to dial itself down and have moments of pure emotion and scenes where the characters just grow. And although the film is a satire of Disney, it is still capable of getting the same kind of emotions from the audience that a Disney movie could. It is pure perfection in all aspects. You can definitely tell from the visuals, the soundtrack, and the story itself that the people behind this film put their hearts and souls into making this film the best thing that it possibly could be. Again, this is, n this is one of those rare cases where the sequel is better than the original by simply being bigger and better. I love this movie, and just like the first one, I grew up watching this film and ha have always loved it. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe for more content. Also, comment down below if you want, it, want me to take a deeper look into Shrek the Third and Shrek the Final Chapter. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter to get the ability to choose what I'll do next time. Bye!